What's up, gay straight son of the days? It's Mally. I'm back with another episode of Butterfly Soup, and we are finally here. Our first little gaby date with Min and Dio. We are at fucking Snow Castle, I think was the name of it. Uh, it's such a cute little name. Anyway, we're here on our first date, as we can see with our adorable little blushing Min here. I'm so excited for my gaby, so let's just get right on into this. We're here on a date. It's lunchtime at school right now. We ate really fast and sprinted here. <laughs> How much time do we have? About 30 minutes before we gotta run back to campus. Gonna be able to run back on a full stomach? Aw. Thanks for bringing me here. I've always wanted to try their shaved ice. I'm the one who should be thankful. Don't mention it. Cute. Then receives a chat message. She quickly checks her phone. I have prepared a Dia cheat sheet for your reference. What? Top dessert slash drink Dia likes. Any food artificially colored to look blue. The flavor is irrelevant, e.g. blue raspberry, Baja Blast, etc. Dia cannot tell the difference and will refer to it as blue flavor. Peanut butter. She is neutral toward actual peanuts. Mango. Food with a circle in the center, e.g. bagels, monk cakes, peach, gummy rings. Ooh. Aww. If you are in a situation where multiple food items have these features, e.g. both a blue colored cake and a mango mousse cake are available, the hierarchy is as follows. Blue flavor, peanut butter, mango, circle in the center. Thanks, Noel. Aww, but it's also really, really sweet that she remembers shit like that. I fucking love it when friends remember shit about that about me. So like, this is just so cute. Suggested conversation topics. Owl City. Aww. Aww, she would like Owl City. Dogs who have different colored fur above their eyes, so it looks like they have little eyebrows. Like little Rottweilers. Rottweilers! The most extreme animal plant series. Okay. I'll text you if I run into trouble. Aww. Understood. Aww, Noelle! Aww! Look at Noelle playing Cupid even though she doesn't really realize it yet. Well, I think she does, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Min and Dia take their place in line and gaze up at the menu. These shaved ice desserts look massive. Maybe we can share one. Dia nods eagerly. Wait, hold on. Noelle had a problem, though, when she went, you're both girls earlier. I wonder what caused her to 180 and just help her, actually, with, um, you know, like, help men. Maybe it was her staying up to her mom and realizing if her mom's wrong about one thing, then maybe she's wrong about other things, too. Well, that's wonderful. Aw, okay. Anyway, Dia nods eagerly. It's on purpose. They're made for couples to eat to get... We're sharing one! <laughs> Aww! Aww! Wait, is this like a legit couple's like dessert place? Oh, that's so cute! It's Dia and Min's turn in line now. <laughs> Welcome to Snow Castle. Can I take your order? Dia looks anxiously at Min. Min's heart skips a beat, seeing the helplessness in her eyes. She's relying on me! Baby has social anxiety. Aww! Oh, she would- Oh, Dia would love order ahead. Oh, I kind of wish y'all had that. Oh, Dia. I got you. We'll have the Mount Fuji. That one is blue. One Mount Fuji coming right up. Dia and Min find a table and wait for their order. I'll pay you back. No, it's on me. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you don't- The person's taking you out. You don't pay on dates. Does Dia know this is a date? There is a reason Clueless Lesbian is a stereotype. She might not even know it's a date. I still have the money from the mall fountain. Thanks. You're welcome. I'd kill someone if you asked me to. Dorks. I'm pretty sure you'd kill someone even if I didn't ask you to. The orders are being prepared on the counter. An employee is drizzling syrup atop another customer's mountain of shaved ice. Hey, we can watch them making it. Don't want to see. Food tastes better if you don't know what's in it. Dia, that's a dangerous game. That way it's like magic. That is so wholesome, but Dia, that's a dangerous game. Huh, never thought of it like that. Do you know how to cook? I can make microwave popcorn. She tries. That's not cooking. What, can you cook? Not really. Once I tried to make a pancake when I was nine, but it burned to a total crisp, like a rock. Couldn't even scrape it out of the pan. I was so embarrassed that I dug a big hole in the backyard and buried it. You are a puppy. You are basically a puppy and I love you. Aww. Including the pan? I was desperate. Didn't know what else to do. That's so cute, like a little pup. 
Min sang what I've been saying for ages. You are a puppy. Oh, dear. Oh. Wait, her hair is actually kind of styled like a fucking, like, Kevlar King Charles. Dia's a little spaniel. Oh, is that on purpose? Because, like, her hair is like the little floppy ears. Dia's a little spaniel. Oh, Dia. Oh, I adore her so much. Are you making fun of me? No, no, you're so cute, Dia. Oh, my goodness. No, it's a good thing. You're so cute sometimes that I almost can't stand it. <laughs> Same, she's so precious. Oh. Can you be my niece? Can Dia be my niece? Oh, my goodness. Can she be my niece? Can I adopt her? Precious baby. I, I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, Dia. Dia staggers to her feet, makes for the restroom. She misses the door and slams straight to the wall. Baby. Dia! Min rushes to her side as she staggers back and grabs a hold of her, worried she might fall. What's wrong? Are you hurt? Dia just shakes her head face red. She seems to be struggling with the limits of spoken language. You sure? Dia nods frantically. Min tentatively lets her go. She watches Dia scramble into the restroom correctly this time. As Min returns to the table, her phone screen lights up with a message. I'm giga so fudging on. Hey, Akarsha. The way you grabbed her, I thought you were gonna start dry hump gigging her in the middle of the restaurant. Are you spying? Are you and Noel spying on us? Oh my god, Gaby Stakeout! Akarsha, I'm convinced those sunglasses are actually impeding your mental processes. I am embarrassed to be seen with you. Well, I can't take them off. Are you legit Gaby staking us out? Ah! But also, go away! Give us some privacy! My cover will be blown. You should have chosen a better disguise in the first place, then. What? Turn around, bright eyes. And by bright, I mean black as the void. Ah! <laughs> Gamey Stego! Gamey Stego! You two are so cute! Well, here's what's probably happening. Noelle's calling it a stakeout. Akarsha knows it's a date. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Dia's been texting me for advice on you. That's why she went to the bathroom. Dia! Aww, this is so cute. Double date, even though one of them doesn't realize it's a date, but double date! Aww! What? Honestly, I'm annoyed she goes to you and not me. Why would she go to you? You never talk about feelings and gay stuff. And I also have master seduction skills. Sure. sure. What master seduction skills? Um, you're sitting across from her, you tell me. My tactics. If you're so knowledgeable on these matters, why are you single? Because she's waiting for you, dumbass! Excuse you, I'm single because I want to be? Some people like being sad and alone. <laughs> Akarsha! When you and Noelle start dating, you won't be sad and alone because Noelle is probably the type to be a relentless cuddler, honestly. Like, she's giving me that vibe. On purpose. On purpose. Right. On purpose. Noelle, I'm gay. Noelle, date me. Noelle! Not because no one ever likes me back or anything. Oh, baby. Baby. Noelle's gonna realize her feelings and you two are gonna be so cute. Don't attack me like this, what the fuck? Wait, guys, hold on. How long has this been going on? Was the whole thing at the buffet a setup? When you two left the table? Take a wild guess, Sherlock. You know, Noel, I'm starting to realize you do have a sense of humor. But you're so emotionally constipated that your style of humor is just being extremely mean. That's my girl. OMG, wait. Do you know I'll get along now? They're never gonna admit it. We don't get along. Yes, you do. But we used to not get along much worse. Gabies. Hi, Dia. Dia returns to the table. Are you feeling better? Dia nods sheepishly and then stiffens up in fear as the waitress approaches with their dessert on a tray. When Mount Fuji, Dia responds with friends leave nodding as the waitress slides the dessert onto the table. Do I get to- I do get to see! Oh, that's so cute and it actually looks like a mountain- wait! Is that like a scoop of matcha ice cream? Oh my god, this looks so good and now I want one. Oh my god! Wait, are those pink marshmallows? And are those like little chocolate chips? And are those little blueberries? Oh, I want one. Oh, I want one so bad. How did you make this look so good? It's a mound of shaved ice sculpted and saturated with blue raspberry syrup and condensed milk to look like a mountain. 
It looks so good. The blue flavor looks so good. Ah, dear, reading my mind. Precious baby. The one was spot on. What are the pink things? Probably pink marshmallows. It's mochi. They're supposed to look like cherry blossoms. <gasps> mochi! Even better, I love mochi. Oh my goodness. Min stabs her spoon in the shaved ice and shovels it into her mouth. The shaved ice is so cold that her gums are growing numb. Ugh. Oh, I felt that right in my sensitive teeth. Oh no. Ah! I think I'm getting brain freeze. Me too. A drop of cream is trickling down Dia's finger. She quickly licks it clean before it can reach her palm. Min is so focused watching, she doesn't realize her own mouth is hanging open until she feels a trail of spit about to drop down from it. Gaby. <laughs> Min accidentally drooled onto the table. Ew. Min! <laughs> Fuck! Shit! <laughs> now that we know she's here, hello, Akarsha. Uh, they're fine. Dia is staring determinedly into the Mount Fuji. She's probably pretending not to have seen. Aw. Help me! Pretend to drown so she has to give you mouth to mouth. What the fuck kind of plan is that? What would I even be drowning on? Don't. Don't say the drool. Don't say the drool. Don't say the, the shaved ice. Oh, thank fuck. No! The toilet. No! Trust me, I'm a love expert. No! There's no way this could possibly go wrong. There are several ways this could possibly go wrong. Rather than potentially causing you confusion like that, why don't you be open and tell her how you feel? Look who's being accepting Gaby. Aw. You're the last person on the planet qualified to tell me to be open. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm perfectly open about my feelings. Really? Because you haven't told Akarsha you like her yet. Since when? <laughs> hey, Frenchman, you enjoy our company, right? I'm not sure how you deluded yourself into believing that. I think she's open about her feelings, but she's also in denial. So those two are a weird combination. See? Being in denial and being open are two different things. Lamau! Proved us right. You can't even argue it. Ugh. She's trapped. She hates being wrong, but can't admit she likes us. I like you. Wait, Akarsha or both of them? Because cute if both of them, but if just Akarsha. Is the game become now? Are we getting our double date confirmed? I'm struggling with words today, but oh my god. Gabies. Uh, However, you're immature and relentlessly annoying. Everything about you fills me with indescribable rage. From the way you wear a windbreaker with flip-flops to your idiotic-looking hairstyle to how you're smart yet do things like all forks, food rakes, etc. I'm so flustered I'm fumbling over my own words even though I'm technically typing them right now. Mm. Wait, so that means it's just about... It's just about Akarsha! Okay, she probably doesn't mean it in, like, the gay way yet, but oh my god, this is a good step. And Min, you're volatile and stupid. I already hardly tolerate you, so if you hurt Dia in any way, I won't hesitate to destroy you. Why do you have to immediately drag us to defuse the situation? Baby steps, Frenchman. Very good. Shut up! Aw. Now that I'm right, as always, about being open, Min has no valid excuse. What if Dia rejects me? Then you move past it, and you stay friends. Like, obviously, I doubt she's going to. Because, I mean, look at them. <laughs> I doubt she's gonna, but, like, if it were a situation where Dia were to reject her, I think they could just be friends. Because they work fine as friends already, so... Anyway. And that's her own personal problem for having bad taste. Her loss, not yours. What should I say? Let me think. No, that's dangerous. Shit, bitch, you is fine. Don't say that, man. What the hell, no! Oh, thank fuck. A girl rat piss. What? What? Uh, oh, Urban Dictionary. Oh, you make me afraid. Urban Dictionary, rat piss. A code name for send nudes. You're a freshman in high school! Who the fuck would say that? Do it. A girl rat piss. No! No! If you don't make a move within the next five minutes, I'm about the crazy frog song and ruin your whole date. The fuck is the crazy frog song? Hold on. No. No. 
Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. Okay, anyway. I've practiced. No! Unfortunately, I can confirm that she's practiced. Okay, I can do this. Aw! My mouth is so cold. Want me to warm it up for you? <laughs> Man! <laughs> ah! I didn't expect you to say what I was thinking. I was thinking it. Like, as something that you could say, oh my god. Dia freezes. Oh my god, I fucked up, I fucked up! He, Dia gives her a nervous, very small nod. Wait, what? What? <gasps> Yay! Kiss her! Ah! Oh, babies! Min crawls onto the table on all fours with a loud clatter. Dia gasps as Min cups her face in her palms and catches her lips with hers. Ah, gamies! I'm so proud! Her mouth is cold as advertised and blue flavor. Dia doesn't push her away, but she doesn't kiss back either. Min can feel her trembling in her arms like a frightened rabbit. Baby. Anxious Min pulls back over the sounds of Akarsha's whooping and yodeling in the background. Akarsha, why are you yodeling? Oh my god. Dia is clinging desperately to Min's jacket sleeves, a vivid blush covering her cheeks. <laughs> Coloring, sorry, look at her face! Oh my god, Dia! Is this good? Dia frantically nods in response, looking embarrassed. I don't know what to do. I've never done this before. Me neither, but don't worry, I looked it up on Yahoo Answers. No! Unless you want to start smaller. I thought... That it would be maybe a confession of feelings and maybe build up to this like a little later, but I go for it. Fucking go get her, man. I'm so proud of you. I I want to hold hands with you and cuddle. Dia! Dia, you wholesome gaby. Oh my goodness. We can do that. Min takes Dia's hand. I'm happy you kissed me. <laughs> I like you a lot. Me too. Min lightly brushes Dia's lips with her thumb. Dia shivers at the touch as Min gently pulls her closer. Do you like this? Dia nods and closes her eyes and leans in. She nuzzles against Min, peppering her cheek with soft little kisses. Gabies! <laughs> oh my god, Dia's kissing me! The table, it's... Noelle stands up and is approaching them. What the fuck? Go away, Noelle! You think I want to be here watching this disgusting display? I hope you mean of affection and not just because we're both girls. Because otherwise I'm going to be worried. The table is... A leg of the table gives way under Min's weight. Oh, fuck. Well, it wouldn't be their day if there wasn't at least one disaster gay moment and there were so many. Can't believe we're banned from Snowcastle now. Wait, over that? Come on. I can't believe Min broke their table. No choice. You could have held off on making out for 10 seconds and walked around it. Nah, it wouldn't have been Min otherwise. Like I said, no choice. That was even better than you guys drinking Pawnee at the buffet. Shut up! Yeah, shut your fuck up! Shut your fuck up. I hate you all, I'm going home. No, no, because now it's Akarsha's turn, come on! Okay, see you at practice tomorrow. No, wait, stay! Change my mind then. You have approximately 10 seconds. I'm gay for you, Noelle! Yeah? Friendship is like peeing on yourself. The no! Everyone can see it, but only you get the warm feeling it brings. She's going to leave. What the fuck? It Goodbye. No! What were you expecting after that, you nasty freako? Pee girl again? <laughs> Meanie! You, you dung elf! Them's fighting words, Akarsha. What? <laughs> oh, look at them! You know how during metamorphosis inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar turns to soup? It melts into this disgusting metal goo slushy. Everyone is a mess when they're growing up. Some people are just better at hiding it than others. It's okay to be a flaming dumpster fire. It's okay if you're not what your parents wanted you to be. It's okay to change your mind. If you want to be a butterfly, you have to be butterfly soup first. If you think about it like that, we're all doing pretty good right now. We just don't know it yet. Oh, my heart. I... 
That is so fucking well said. Oh my goodness. Just keep going. Keep trying and eventually you'll find people who like you for the weird fuck up that you are. You're not a fuck up, Akarsha. You deserve to be happy. So don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. Thanks, man. And if an alligator attacks you, go for the eyes. What? That's what I told Min last time she said that line. Then not giving up. I have trivia like that too. If you're walking on the sidewalk and see a car coming toward you, instead of moving forward or backwards, go directly left or right towards the nearest obstacle you see. Why left or right? I don't get it. There's normally too little time to judge the car's direction. Moving directly perpendicular to how you're facing is your best bet. I was looking up how to survive if a car drives into you as a pedestrian. I already told you, I'll just hit the car out of the way. This turned into a random advice session. End this conversation, otherwise we'll be standing here forever. Okay, I'm ending it now. Bye. What? Wait, is it over? It is over. Oh. That was so nice. My heart. Oh my goodness. I guess that's the end of Butterfly Soup. I was hoping that we'd see like maybe Noelle and Akarsha's romance develop. Because come on. Come on. It, it's right fucking there. Like, But you know what? I'm okay with it ending there for right now. <laughs> Aww, Brianna. <laughs> the future? Wait, hold on. I thought it was over. Oh! Aww, look at them holding hands. Cuties. So which one do you want? Don't know. Which dog friend do you want, Sheba? Wait, I thought that was a plushie. Sheeb! Sheeb, the puppy name I chose! Ah, it's all coming full circle! Hearing his name, Sheeb turns brightly to Dia, tongue lolling out. His frog raincoat makes a crinkling sound against Min's arms as he wags his tail. Wait, how old are you now? Are you like high school or college? Wait, no, you would have to be college in order for that to work. Aw! He's too nice. He likes all of them. Dia peers down at a Pomeranian in the enclosure. This one reminds me of you. Aw. How? Small, but thinks she's invincible. Hey! It's a charm point. I love you for it. Gabies. <gasps> Hi, little one! Oh my goodness, you're so cute! Dia picks up the little Pomeranian and gazes into her black, soulless eyes. Your name is Pom. Oh, so we end up keeping both anyway. Oh my goodness. Okay, that that was worth it just for that little cutscene. Oh my goodness. I'm glad that even though this game is about like four years old that I went and played it because a lot of what's said here is like super, super important. And even though like I feel like there wasn't a lot of time to delve into certain like deeper topics, I feel like they were touched on just enough to like make you think about the relationships you're in and the friends that you have and like maybe start having some important conversations with yourself, you know, and maybe the people around you. Like, I feel like there's still so much left here to explore. So if a sequel is a thing that's happening, I can't fucking wait, but take all the time you need because you made something fucking beautiful, Brianna. But after this, there is one more lesbian visual novel that I want to play and then I want to step away from the uh, lesbian narrative for a bit because I want this channel to be inclusive and support more queer stories, you know? Not just me. I started with lesbians because that that's me. That's what I am and I just felt like I didn't see enough of that on the platform. But now, let's move away from that and give some time to somebody else. So, one more visual novel. It is called A Summer's End, Hong Kong 1986. And then we're going to switch up the narrative a little bit. So I hope you'll join me over there. Thank you so much. Whoever happens to be watching this, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help me out. But remember that you are loved, you are valid, and you deserve people in your life that love you in the way that you deserve to be loved and accept you for you. And until next time, bye.